Hello and welcome to the Infinite Spellbook. In this series, a random spell from the artifact known as the Infinite Spellbook will be chosen and shown to you starting with a brief excerpt before explaining its origin, how to cast it, and the effects of the spell once cast. Some of these spells may be a simple utility that causes minor effects whilst others can shake the very foundations of reality. Some of the spells that will be presented may have definable origins and their creators will be mentioned as such, all rights in regards to the spell belonging to them. Other spells may have no clear origin origin, such is the nature of the infinite spell book. Let us open another page and see what spell is contained within. It appears we have found a dark spell this time, hailing from the wizarding world. The Killing Curse, Avada Kedavra. Avada Kedavra is a curse that needs a powerful bit of magic behind it. You could all get your wands out and point them at me and say the words, but I doubt I'd get so much as a nosebleed. Bartabas Crouch Jr. The spell, known as Avada Kedavra, is one of the darkest and most feared in existence, a direct manifestation of death itself. As the incantation is uttered, a cold, unnatural stillness descends upon the surroundings, as if the very world holds its breath in anticipation. A flash of brilliant, eerie green light erupts from the caster's wand, travelling with terrifying speed towards its target. This light is a harbinger of doom, cold and unrelenting, a spectral glow that promises only death. The air around it crackles with a sinister energy, and an almost imperceptible hum of dark magic fills the air. The moment the spell makes contact, it is as if time itself pauses. The target's eyes widen in a split second of realisation and horror before they collapse lifeless to the ground. There is no visible wound, no sign of struggle. They are simply and irrevocably dead. The spell leaves no room for resistance or survival. It is a final, absolute end. The aftermath of Avada Kedavra is marked by a haunting silence. The body of the fallen lies still and cold, a grim reminder of the spell's lethal efficiency. The caster stands amidst this quiet devastation, the one still tingling with the residual dark energy of the spell. The air feels heavier, laden with the weight of death and the chill of the grave. Witnessing Avada Kedavra is a harrowing experience, one that leaves an indelible mark on those who have seen it. It is a spell that embodies the ultimate power of life and death, a terrifying reminder of the fragility of existence and the dark depths of magical prowess. Avada Kedavra is one of the three unforgivable curses within the wizarding world. Whilst the magic within that world works differently to that of the Weave, it is similar enough, and the Wizards of Witches of that world could be classed as beings of sorcerous powers, but they also study for their magic like traditional wizards. Also known as the Killing Curse, this spell is one of the darkest forms of magic out there. Despite its nature and reputation, it is deceptively simple. Anyone touched by the spell dies instantly. There is no grand casting, no cries of pain, not even a single wound. The victim simply dies. It is unknown who invented the spell, but its first recorded mention dates back to the Middle Ages in 1717. This was when the Ministry of Magic, who had recently been reformed from the Wizards Council, declared the use of the Killing Curse was unforgivable along with a Cruciatus and Imperius Curse. In this context, the use of any one of these spells would result in a life sentence in the most secure prison in the world, Azkaban. The history of the Killing Curse is marked with tragedy and death and has become a common spell used by Dark Wizards during the Global Wizarding War, the First Wizarding War, and the Second Wizarding War, and beyond. The spell isn't as simple as just pointing a wand and saying the words Avada Kedavra. There must be an intent behind it, just like the other unforgivable curses. The caster must mean it, must desire the death of their target at that moment. If there is even a shred of doubt, the spell will not work properly. But if the killing intent is there, the only chance of survival anyone has is to avoid being hit at all. The curse can be rebounded back at the caster, but only in unique specific instances that cannot hope to be replicated on command. The killing curse is dark magic at its finest. 
There is a simplistic and dark beauty to taking a life of just a flash of light that many dark casters dream of. Now let's look at the spell as it appears within the infinite spellbook. Avada Kedavra is a 7th level spell with a casting time of 1 action. It has a range of 60 feet and requires verbal, somatic and material components. The material component is an ornate wand carved from bone worth 100 gold. Its effects are instantaneous and it belongs to the necromancy school of magic. When cast, you utter the words of death, firing a beam of sickly green magic at one creature you can see within range. Make a ranged spell attack roll against the creature. On a hit, the creature must make a dexterity saving throw. On a failed save, the creature is reduced to zero hit points and dies instantly. If you have a lawful or good alignment, you have disadvantage on the attack roll and if you are lawful good, the creature has advantage on its saving throw as you lack the moral conviction needed to properly cast this spell. In addition, undead and constructs are immune to this spell as they have no life to rip away. By its very nature as a dark spell, it is strongest in the hands of evil beings and hard to wield by good hands. If one becomes reliant on the dark power of this spell, it may be the catalyst for their turn to evil. But with that, we reach the end of today's video. Before you head off, I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope you managed to get something out of this. The Avada Kedavra spell is available on D&D Beyond for free and the link to it is in the description. I hope you all have a great day and may your dice roll favourably. Bye for now.